Hello everyone, I'm Dynamic Nate, and welcome back to Little Nightmares. Now yes, you all might be wondering what happened over the years that I was gone, and I will simply say that a lot happened. And it's a long story and I don't want to go into it, but I'm back now and it's all that matters. And now let's just finish this up, shall we? It's been a long time since I've done any of these games that I've been in the middle of playing. So, I might be a bit rusty. Needless to say, this next part is probably going to be terrifying. Let's get into it. Whatever. And here we are. So, when we last left off, things were obviously going to be bad with the lady down there and all the things. And I need to remember the controls again because it's literally been years since I've played this. So I, got, so I can take a knee. I can hold up my hand like, wait, wait, don't touch that. And then I think Y was the flashlight. Oh. B is the flashlight. I can just wiggle that thing around. Oh, and I can jump too, still. Okay. I think I remember the controls the controls enough. I just hope that I don't have to worry about having to use them on the fly. Or I guess using advanced controls on the fly. Hello there, friend. Do not mind me, little friends. I am here on business. And who took a turd in the book? It's not cool. Hmm. Yes. Oh. An act. Okay, that hurt, but I'm fine. So I should generally keep my wits about me here because it's very, very dark and spooky here, and I don't like that hallway at all. And I should be ready to bolt at a moment's notice. Yep, not a fan. Not a fan. Again, with the stuff to just to spook me. Oh. There she is. I am definitely not a fan of this. So, I definitely can't just waltz right up to her and take the key. I'm just gonna sneak back all nice and quiet like. You didn't see nothing. You hear me? Nothing. This place is a lot bigger than I remember it being. Oh, friend. You mustn't be around here. It's dangerous, you know. Not touching that. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a quick wander around. Maybe jump. it currently seems 
that I can just wander without consequence into this door right here. I'm not touching that. Maybe I should follow that little guy into that little corridor. It's definitely a lot of open-ended stuff here. Is it something that I'm not going to touch in here? I heard that. You... And it definitely looks like a trap. But am I willing to spring it? Gently. Book. Hooray. I will throw the book. I, that's not throwing the book. Give me a moment, I'll figure it out. Oh! That was a, that was a weak throw. Um, throw the book. Clearly that is not a trap, and I should move on. Maybe I can try climbing up here. Nope. Again. Let's... Alright, I think I'll take my luck in the eye room. Actually, you know what? I think she might hear that and might and I might incur her wrath, so probably not the best idea or whatever. One thing that I have taken note of during my absence is that I know that I need to talk more. Before, you couldn't hear me speak at all lots of times. And now the problem's getting me to shut up. Oh, there's a puzzle afoot. Circle. Square. Triangle. So clearly I made the right move here. I just need a So maybe I can get the thing that's in the eye room and just uh snatch it. Now this is definitely a trap. Just need to be just just need to be nonchalant. Yep. I'm nonchalant! I'm nonchalant! I got a weapon. Okay. Surprised that you didn't hear that. Let's try that again. Let's put that gently back in place. So clearly there's a problem. Do I need to do some Indiana Jones type stuff here? And... Well, I guess I could use the book. I could throw the book at it. Well, I can throw the book on the plate. Or is it going to be trapped now, the floor? Guess not. Dang it. Don't go so far ahead of me, Buck. I can't run as fast as you. So I just need a... Ah, I can't even jump while... Holding a book.
I sure hope that this isn't a waste of time. Yep. Just need to do some sneaky Indiana Jones type stuff. Unless if adding more pressure to the pressure plate makes things a bit more spooky in response. So let's try it again. Nope. This is quite plexing. And since I've gotten nowhere in the span of 12 minutes already, probably because of all the load times, I'll probably just edit those out. So let's hope that this uh, will block the exit. Nope. Not working. You wanna know what? I accept my fate. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna crouch down. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do about it. Yep. Now time for another long loading screen. Okay, so clearly that did not work at all. How to solve. Should I cause a ruckus and stuff? Quite plexing. Boggle my own mind and think of a way out of this. Maybe I can throw a book at her. Like this one. She seems to be lost in thought there, so... Maybe I'm being a super huge, dumb idiot face and don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Maybe the clock. This is quite annoying, not knowing what to do. Or maybe it's as easy as throwing the book, a book at the thing on the pedestal.
I thought I would live for that. Sorry, I had to see that. So I'll take a good book and just chuck it at the pedestal. Nice shot. Or maybe... Ah. Like, seriously, how do I... Can me go. This is probably achieving nothing. Unless. Seriously, how do I... I need to look this up. I'm gonna... feel like a complete idiot. All right, that's it. Give me a moment. Well, turns out I'm not experimental enough. So apparently you could uh, mess with these ladder staircases, stair book ladders, books that ladder stare back into the abyss that is your heart. Like this one here. Just move that along. And now I can actually get somewhere instead of getting nowhere. So do I jump or do I throw? First I throw the book, then I jump. 10 out of 10. Let me see again. That is so dumb. Apparently, I'm still not creative enough. And there's books here, and I need to shove them in things. I'm sorry, I didn't think the game was cl that clever. So 
So we got this book. I didn't know that the game had the had the ability to be clever. Since I have no idea what I can't believe I'm just you know, like look at the walkthrough for all this dumb stuff. Oh and then there's one hidden away in the darkness. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. Brilliant. Finally. Now I can actually get somewhere. Oh? No, just a light bulb. Okay, so I'm thinking we can use this as the little Indiana Jones decoy. No. Let's just hope that nothing changes up. Really had to be like that with me, huh? Okay, so drop the wooden one, pick up this one, throw it, drop it here, I guess, or and then gently, yeah, and then everyone will be none the wiser. Haha. <laughs> Then I guess I'll have to go up there soon. Unless if something jumps out and kills me. No. Or? No. That book wasn't there. No wait, that was that was my doing, the book. You idiot, that's the circle space. This is the square space. Hooray. I accomplished something. Can't believe I have to do all that just to accomplish nothing. All right, you wanna know what? This episode's taking too long already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.